All right, so today I'm in the wrecker and uh, thought I'd go over a situation that I've got myself into a few times and some of you might have too. And I don't, you know, not sure how you ha would handle it, uh, but I'll show you what I have done in the past. Say you're on a road where you're going up to a casualty and you get up this road and you realize there's nowhere to turn around. What do you do? Do you, uh, some of you might just tie a chain on the back of it, like this truck for instance, and jerk it out of the ditch or whatever you need to do. I've seen that happen. That's not a professional way of doing it though. Uh, you want to winch it out. That's what the wrecker's for. And you got a couple choices. You can uh, back back out the way you came and then back all the way back in and position the truck, you know, the back of the truck towards your casualty. Or you can do this. Okay, so most of you already know about this, but some of you may not. Uh, this is our old wrecker. Uh, so just a one-ton Jordan. And uh, a lot of you already know about this, but if you unhook this, if you look at this part right here, this swivels 360. And yes, it will go back over the truck. Okay, so while pulling the line to the side, I've already drawn, drawn some line out. Uh, what you want to do is we have to raise it up. So what I can do from here, if I don't have two people, I can take my jacket off, for instance, put it around the line, zip it up, protect the uh, light bar and the top of the cap. If you have two people, you just simply have one hold it off with a broom or something like that, hold the line off the cap so it doesn't get on it. Okay, so now as you see, the line is over the truck. I can even come back down some if I wanted to, whatever. And what I've done is just run the line straight to the uh, to the truck over here. I'm going to turn this around. And no, I don't have it hooked in good or anything. This is just demonstration purposes. So normally I'd have a chain hooked around the frame uh, to do it the right way. Uh, I just got it slightly slid in the uh, frame right here. Uh, just just to give you an idea. And also what I would do if I was going to winch this truck out of here. Uh, I would go ahead and put a snatch block in and then run the line back to the front of the truck. One disadvantage of doing this, if you're saying soft mud or something like that, if you have your angle of attack like I have on this, of course, if you put a straight pull on it, it's going to drive your front wheels right in the mud and cause them to sink. So you have to watch it, watch that too. With the snatch block in there, you don't have to worry about that because it'll put the pull at the uh, lower half of it. Now, one other thing I'll mention, your hydraulic rams, uh, this ram here is designed for downward pressure, to support downward pressure. Uh, when you're pulling the other way on it, it's really not good for the ram. So what you might want to do is actually put a chain around the boom uh, back down to the deck to the uh, deck of the truck somewhere and uh, that keeps it from putting a strain on it so anyway thanks for watching today guys uh, some of my tips and tricks may seem a little unorthodox and some of you are not going to agree with it but you know what they work I've tried them I've tested them it all works so uh, hopefully it comes in useful for you sometime until next time this is Gordy and I'll see you in the ditch